Yo, what's up guys? Teacher Paul over here and today we have a very special video because I have a few guests. Here with us today we have Semi. Okay, so Semi is actually, um, interestingly enough, he is the one who brought me into um, teaching. He's my mentor actually. So hi Semi, where are you right now? Hello, hello, Paul. I'm here in Arizona, United States. Thank you so much for inviting me over. I love your videos and I'm happy to be here with you, man. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. Also today we have James. So James, what's up? <laughs> hello there, everybody. Uh, I'm James and I'm a digital artist and I've been friends with Paul since, I don't know, since we were kids. Kind of. <laughs> yes. Um, and I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Thanks for having me, Paul. Let's do it. Okay. And we also have Becca. Hi there. Hey guys. Hi, Becca. Um, Paul kind of got me into this reaction world as well. So I'm also an illustrator and a graphic designer. So I'm actually very excited to be doing this. Yay. <laughs> okay. Good. So we have everyone on the call. And here is what's going to happen. So all of us are, well, in, in, or to a certain extent, we all make videos for the internet. Um, Becca has a reaction channel. I'm going to link her in the description. Um, James has his um, photography also. Yeah, yeah, I do experimental videos and I'm planning to do something else, but that's for future projects. So what type yeah. of experimental videos? <laughs> Uh, probably I'm going to be doing some reactions as well, uh, but I'm still planning, I don't know. I'm... Okay, so guys, if you want James to do a, a make a reaction channel, let me know in the comments down below. And <laughs> Mr. Semi, he is... <laughs> okay, you can explain what you do, especially... Well, the thing is, um, my audience is from India. You are more famous on TikTok, so TikTok is banned in India, unfortunately, but... You have a YouTube channel, right? With the shorts? Yes. Yes, I do have a YouTube channel. It's called Teacher Sweden okay. over there. And yeah, so I bring people over to the US, especially people that want to come here to study. And that's what I do. Okay. So if your dream is to be in the US, then hey, you know, Semi is your man. <laughs> I'm going to put your <laughs> links in the description as well. So here's what's going to happen. Um, first, I'm going to ask you a few questions. So Becca, I know that you're the most experienced one here with Indian cinema. <laughs> well, sort of. <laughs> sort of. Okay. Um, James, have you ever seen Indian cinema? Uh, just a little bit. A couple of clips, a couple of videos. Uh, most of them were, I don't know, music, uh, I think. Okay. But it's pretty impressive what can, they can, what they can do now. Okay, and Semi, what is your experience? Um, personally, I watched like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and but I follow you, man. So I've seen a lot of videos that you react to. So yeah, okay. I'm familiar already with that. I learned from you, so thank you. <laughs> okay. Those are actually very good videos. That's awesome. So, um, Slumdog Millionaire, right? That's the one. Yeah. Your camera keeps going off. Yeah, I know. People are calling me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no worries. Busy man. Um, <laughs> so, Becca, I'm going to throw yes. you a spin ball right now. What is your experience with Indian cinema? Have you ever um, watched any full movies? Yes, I have watched um, Bahubali. Was, okay. uh I watched an, I actually remembered I watched another one in when I was doing college. I don't remember the name of the movie. The teacher just put in a random movie for us to watch because apparently we were supposed to learn something from the movie, but it was just us having fun. I still don't know what he was trying to teach us. Okay. We still nobody does. But yeah, I do like Indian movies. I've seen a lot of like mini clips on okay. Facebook from okay. um, certain musicals that they have also from the movies. And I was like, oh, I need to jot this down. I need to check this out because I thought it was like really cool, like the dancing and like 
the way they do such like amazing productions to the movie it's just so good and i okay. loved it so much okay what about you um james what is your impression of you know indian movies well i think the first movie i uh, was actually just a clip uh, i have seen was i think it was in 2006 it was a some kind of fan movie about assassin's creed the video game assassin's creed and mm -hmm. it was a guy dressed as the main character altair and i was impressed with what they could do in that video then i i uh, remember that i've seen uh, other musical videos which are really impressive um but i i've never checked out any of the drama so i i really don't know what to expect okay but i think it's gonna be awesome so um basically today i'm gonna introduce a few movies um to you guys and semi what is your impression of um indian cinema i think they're very impressive man you know they're much better than hollywood here in the u.s I think they're very creative and I love them, you know, so I'm, you, I'm really looking forward to watching the video you're going to show us today. You you live in Hollywood, right? Or did you move? I used to. I moved like a month ago. Okay. So yeah. uh, Semi is also known as Teacher Hollywood. So yeah. <laughs> on Instagram. Yeah. Teacher on Hollywood. That, that's how you can find me on Instagram. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. Um, did you know that okay so i myself am new to indian movies i have been reacting to them for like four to five months now but did you know that india has more than one film industry no i didn't did you know that james well uh, no i didn't i just know about uh, bollywood actually. okay and becca did you know that i did but i remember we talked once Okay. And you told me that there was more than one, and I was like, wait, why? <laughs> yeah, so this is a fact that not many people know, and I was surprised to, to learn about this as well when I started. And um, so, Becca, this might blow your mind, but Bahubali is not a Bollywood movie. It's actually, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a Telugu movie. So in yeah. India... There are so many different industries depending on the state. So today I'm going to show you the five main ones. I'm going to show you a video of a movie from Sandalwood, which is a Kannada language movie, which is one of the most awaited movies of um, recent years. Um, just for you to have an idea, the, the teaser of this video or of this movie um, it actually surpassed the Avengers teaser. It had more than 100 million views in, in a very short time. It broke records. And it is currently at 220 million views for a teaser. Oh my God. <laughs> my so, goodness. How, we, <laughs> how is it that we don't know about this stuff? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I asked myself that as well. Like, how... Am I miss? How did I miss this for so long? But in any case, so I'm going to show you a movie from Canada in this film industry. I'm going to show you a movie from Telugu film industry. I'm going to show you a video from a, um, Malayalam movie industry. I'm going to show you a Hindi movie industry, which is the Bollywood. And I'm going to show you also from a Tamil um, industry. So I'm going to share my newfound knowledge with you guys. And here is the thing. Um, the names are Bollywood, Collywood, Tollywood, um, Mollywood, and Sandalwood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so are you ready? Yep. I was born aye, ready. Aye, Captain. Okay. Captain SpongeBob's. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um... I'm just going to pull up the screen right now and you guys will be able to see it. Okay, so um this is the name of the movie is KGF. So there was a a movie called KGF in the beginning of um I think 4 years ago. I don't know, either 4 years or 3 years ago. And since then they promised a second um 
the sec the the second movie the the sequel and fans have been waiting for this for so long so when this came out i think this was the beginning of this year it had so much hype and we are still waiting for the movie to come out which will come out next month actually next year i think four months from now um so let's go this is kgf uh, tell me if you guys can see it yes yeah tells us the powerful people come from powerful places history Powerful people make places powerful. Wow, <laughs> it's so cool. What? <laughs> I love that, man. I love this attack. <laughs> oh my god, man. Coming soon to theaters. Wow, that was so exciting. You know, guys, I really love when people do and uh, make trailers like this. I don't know, there's some kind of trend right now in Hollywood where people, uh, I don't know, uh, other people's music. Uh, but in, in another type, in another genre, I, I don't know, something like that. And some of them are really boring, but this was so exciting with some epic music, with some, I don't know, epic action scenes was so awesome. This was so great. <laughs> you know, one of the uh, biggest commentary is that the BGM, which is actually produced by Ravi Basrur, is epic. This is just one epic background music. And man, what did you think, Semi? Man, this was like beautiful because they mix like all this action and also it's kind of fun at the same time. And plus things that you don't expect, like the guy leading up the cigarette <laughs> and like the, you know, like that was like exactly. Crazy, you know? What did you? And think, I love Becca? all the facts, you know. They do it, man. They, this is like beautiful, man. I love it. I love yeah. those videos. There's a there's an epic dialogue um, from, well, the fans. They what they they say is. In the first movie, um, the main character, his name is Rocky. So in the first movie, what happens was that um, he tells his story that he used to polish eight boots. Eight boots for him to eat one loaf of bread, one bun of bread. And then the, the fans say, so in, in chapter one, he polished eight boots just for one bun. And now he ate, uh, sorry, he shoots eight Jeeps just to light one cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> oh my the evolution. God. <laughs> <laughs> cool. We have proof of it. <laughs> yeah. But the purpose was like to light up the cigarette, so he needed to shoot cars, right? Yeah. Um, oh my God. The, the first movie is actually about uh, a boy who promises. So you saw at the end it says um, the promise will be kept, right? So this has a double meaning. The, the first meaning is the producers are promising that the movie will be out. And the second meaning is because the, in the movie, um, Rocky has made a promise that he will be the most powerful man on earth. So 
so that's that's it's 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 a quest of a boy who is trying to be you know the best or the the richest man alive the wealthiest man alive you know just the the greatest and i'm not going to give you any um spoilers but that's basically what it, it it's about um and becca what did you think <laughs> They literally won me over when I saw the sword. I was like, I was not expecting that. I was like, there's a sword? Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> and then when I saw the machine gun, I was like, what is he going to do? And then when he lit yeah. his cigarette on the machine gun, I was like, yep. <laughs> this is why people get hooked on like Indian movies. It's because it's something that we do not normally get in like american movies or technically any other genre of movies from anywhere in the world you get like such a mixture of culture that like they literally they like involve their culture so well yeah that's the that's thing just, about, I just want to watch it that's the thing about indian movies in the same movie you're gonna cry you're gonna be excited you're gonna laugh in the same movie, you have a range of emotions and you never know what's coming. And then they hit you, you know, in the gut. And it's just something that is different. And that's what I also enjoyed about Indian cinema. So this is from... And Fo, yes. And Fo, you've, be, you've been watching those movies for like quite a while right now. Yeah. But for us, like we have a completely different perspective or vision of what India is. Yeah, you know, and when we we watch those movies, then we can, you know, it's just like how people think of Brazil, and then after they watch a movie, they go like, "Oh, is that like really like what Brazil looks like?" You yeah. know, so I think that's the same thing here. You know, I think the like the vision that I had of India changes completely when I watch those movies. You know. Yeah. So basically, what we outside India. Um, see in the media media is um a lot of dancing and a lot of singing and sometimes a lot of um anti-gravity scenes <laughs> <laughs> those are the best for me those are my favorite ones yeah i have to agree with james those are like they're just awesome <laughs> yeah there's there's one in bahubali 2 where they actually um catapult the soldiers over the wall I've seen yeah. that. I've seen that. There, there were a couple of soldiers and they yeah. were like, uh, they did a, a, I don't know, it's some kind of circle, I don't know. And they were catapults by a, by a tree, right? Was, yeah, was, by was a tree. It? <laughs> and <laughs> that was you, amazing. If you actually watch the movie, that is the only scene that is completely um, out of the blue because the movie is based on something totally different. Um, it's it's a very beautiful story and beautiful visuals, especially in Bahubali too. There's like a or there's another scene that is a little bit of a fantasy moment where um, the the boat starts flying or something. But it's it's visually beautiful. Um, but showing you um, KGF, you can see that there's a whole range of movies. India doesn't only make dancing movies and um, anti-gravity movies there's a whole range of movies and um you know i i actually will show you another one now so kgf is from canada sandalwood okay so we're gonna change to another one which is let me see what's next so you guys would definitely watch this right 100 <laughs> percent. okay of course I, I just would like to know where is it released Okay, so you can watch this on Amazon Prime. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. You see, that's oh. another thing. Um, all of these movies are available on, um, in international sources like Amazon Prime, Netflix, but we have never been recommended them. You know, it, it's, it's never been on the main page. You have to actually search for the movie and you'll see it there. Mm. Yeah, yeah you're going to have to be so many mind. hidden gems right there. Right? Yeah, I think mostly it's, um, I have noticed that um, when you like a certain um, thing, Netflix or Amazon Prime, they tend to show like similar things to it. So if you, let's say you, you put in an Indian movie in your category, 
you're gonna start getting suggested a lot of other Indian movies in your category, yeah. for sure. So you should just watch the first one and go with it. Okay, so here is the second movie. This is a Telugu um, film. It's actually with S.S. Rajmuli as the director. So he is the director of Bahubali. And it's with NTR and Ram Charan. They are actually one of, um, or two of the, the best dancers that I've ever seen. Um, and they actually re released a video today dancing. Um, but we're not going to watch the dancing video just yet. I'm not going to show you that just yet. What I am going to show you is the glimpse. So you guys know what a glimpse is, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, um, because normally in Hollywood, we, we just watch the teaser and the trailer, but Ooh. in Indian cinema, we have a lot more. We have the motion poster, the glimpse, the, we have a, a whole range of, of content before we actually maybe, watch. Maybe I don't know what a glimpse is. What is, what is a glimpse? So a glimpse is actually like, um, a few images or a few scenes from the movie it's okay. it's 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 like a compilation of a, a couple of yeah it's not uh, a trailer scenes it? it's not a trailer because a trailer is longer it's not a teaser because a teaser is longer it's a shorter it's a short version of a teaser it's just like you know for you to see what's going to happen so as you can see this video is 45 seconds long and this is the glimpse of what we can see from the Telugu um the telugu up uh, this is one of the most awaited movies so it's telugu telugu is um i think tollywood tollywood or collywood i always get confused with tollywood and collywood but i think it's tollywood yeah collywood is tamil so this is from the collywood industry this is telugu these are south indian um movies and Bollywood is more of the North Indian side. So um, here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said 45 aye, aye, seconds? Captain. Yeah, it's 45 seconds. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. Three, two, Don't blink. one. Don't blink. You can see it, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh, that is so cool. That. <laughs> chills, oh, man. literal chills. <laughs> man, what? The Bro, what are you're you just doing, giving dude? me a list of you know movies that I'm gonna watch now because this is like amazing. This is like awesome videos, bro. I know. I right? love the I love the action. You know the action. They they always left like good action. You know, I love it, bro. You know, you know what's interesting? Uh, it's that they they use the soundtrack to to make it more exciting because the soundtrack was like uh, it was um giving you how can i say um goosebumps you were yeah it gives you goosebumps but uh it's like uh, how can i say um it it sets we, we the tone you just yeah it sets the tone uh you're not only excited because of what you're watching, but what you're hearing as well. And that's the more exciting thing because they can give you both things differently from other trailers or from other, I don't know, American trailers, which are, like I said before, so boring, but they're doing a completely good job and that's amazing. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I, I heard this or I read this in the comments and, and someone said that um, DC Comics actually used one of the KGF background songs for their trailer. And I'm like, well, that's a oh. great idea, you know. Whoa. You know. You know that 
I mean, they're I'm, a really, they're I'm, I'm a really talking. big fan of. I'm a really big fan of those uh, cinematic, uh, cinematic soundtracks um, from movies, from video games, and well, I think I just found my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Becca, what did you think of this RRR glimpse? This is really good because, like, we get a taste of how the movie is gonna be without spoiling the actual movie you just be like i know right i don't get it why does this happen like why is there a like the minute i saw the tiger i was like why is there a tiger there i don't know <laughs> why there's a tiger in there you know it's like and the music oh and the music going out when he's shooting that scene was just on point because it it like it did so well with the, the music behind it it was just so good. <laughs> yeah. So what I understand, I, I I haven't researched a lot of um, this movie, but from what I understand and what people are telling me is that um, basically there are two um, two people in history, in Indian history, that they haven't particularly met in, in real life. But in this movie, it's kind of like telling the story of both. So it's kind of like, um, what if they did meet or something like that? So it has a little bit of history and education in this movie, but it's a, it's a fictional movie. Well, that's something cool too, you know, because like we, maybe we don't have all the background story, you know, but um, by like watching different movies, I think we can learn about India, you know? Yeah. So for sure, I, I'm looking forward to January 7, you know, I just saw it's going <laughs> to launch January 7, you know, I, I'm going to be watching those movies, man. Okay. And I have one question. Does, does that tiger is actually a tiger or just a tiger? I don't know if there's something supernatural about the <laughs> movie or it's just... No, it. I, I believe it's um, the, the movie is... is completely fictional but it's not a fantasy movie it's just a movie yeah that... yeah that's that's the, the thing yeah I was... uh what i understand is that the tiger is just um because they used to use animals in in during the war so the movie is actually um, portraying indian war british um against the british a lot of uh different storylines going on um so we just have the glimpse right now but there is another song that was released today. Um, in another video, I'll show that to you, uh, to you guys. But for now, let's go on to another industry, which is the most realistic industry. And this is the Malayalam Mollywood industry. So their movies are actually based... Um, what they actually like to do is bring a more realistic take on, on stories. However... There is this new movie that is actually the first Malayalam superhero movie. So we're oh. gonna. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's that's. <laughs> that's a, cool. a, a, a a realistic take on a superhero in an Indian. Exactly. So, let's watch the trailer and let me know what you think. You guys can see it, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's not in English. Uh, no, this is Malayalam. What? God! What? <laughs> <laughs> ಅಂದಾಯ <laughs> 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 Is that kid cosplaying a Gandhi? I think the kid was. Wow. 
They are so creative, man. I love that. Nice costume. James. <laughs> You know, um, uh, it's a different it's, take, right? I'm, I'm, yes, it's a very, it's a completely different take because we really used to um, movies like The Avengers, Spider Man, X Men, and all that stuff. But it's it's a it's a different take that takes you to another level, man. It's amazing what they can do. It's also comedic, but it's also super heroic. And they can um, bring that excitement to you, so you can you feel like, come on, man, you can do this. You're the hero. You're gonna save the day. That's it's it's awesome. relatable, That's right? Awesome. It's relatable. Yes, it's so relatable because it's the, the men of the people. Uh, what we're talking about, and a simple person who got extraordinary powers doing extraordinary th things, and that's inspiring. And that's one of the things that is lacking right now at Hollywood. And I think Hollywood should learn. From then, uh, yeah, I think that's the biggest. Stories. That's the biggest thing about um, DC and Marvel. I think Marvel has a more relatable story, and DC has more of a unrelatable yeah, story. Yeah, DC, uh, DC superheroes are kind of like uh, Greek god, Greek gods based. They have a base from the Greek gods, so you see Superman like he's invulnerable. He I can shoot. Lasers from his eyes. And to start, he's an alien, right? So you can never. Yeah, he's be an Superman. alien. Yeah, Did you know that Superman him. was inspired by the story of Moses? Really? Yes. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know I that. Superman was yeah. actually created by two Jewish Jewish persons. Uh, was his created his creators were, were Jewish, and um, yeah, he's basically he has a kind of like a metaphor. And uh, like a reference to Jesus, um, he was sent by his father to save the earth. Yeah. So it has all that kind of like religious tone sometimes. Yeah. Okay. The thing about Mino Morali is um, it's relatable. Not only it, it's relatable, it's, it's like, um, you know, the guy next door became a superhero. But what I like about this is um, normally Malayala movies don't have big budgets. So what they did was they, they played around with the audio so that you can understand that he has superpowers. So they didn't have major CGI um, special effects, but they played around with the sound mixing so that you could see that he was running fast. So you'd hear a swoosh, you know, a lot of different things going on there. So I, I like what they did with the, the whole simplicity of, of the, the trailer. Yeah, but yeah, I think the CGI um, is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm also... I like, like the way... Thing... Go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Everybody's uh, so excited. Uh, <laughs> I know. Because, um, like, one thing I learned in college was that, like, especially since I took a bit of, like, um, sound effects and everything, was mostly... Um, it doesn't matter what you film, if your audio and your sound or like your soundtrack does not make the audience like want to like feel part of the movie, get the emotions, you're not doing a good job. And I have seen like from little snips that I've seen from like Indian movies and especially from like Bahubali, which was like one of the first ones that I actually sat down and I actually watched. Yeah, the soundtrack is You literally is get involved. Yeah, the the soundtrack literally makes you get involved. You get excited. You get sad because they literally they make this way to work with the music 
to literally get you involved and i love that because even let's say like if they had a low budget on this movie you can still enjoy it because their sound mixing was on point yeah was like the sound everything mixing, the movie the editing, the, the editing also was perfect it yeah. set its own real real good okay i couldn't notice they were low budget you know i thought this was great yeah, you know, yeah. they had like a great story and I could relate it to the, you know, hero. And I think I, I want to become a hero now. You know, that's my thing. <laughs> I mean, it's it's low budget. Compared... I have my stick. I have my stick. I have my cape. You know, so I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. So it's low budget compared to the other movies that we see coming from Bollywood and, and stuff like that. So, but it, it is a, a movie that is reaching new heights for uh, Mollywood and Malayalam movies. So many comments about it. Okay, so we're going to go to another one right now. So we only have two left to go. So this is called Vali Mai. It is an upcoming Tamil movie. And this is, well, we're going to see the glimpse. Um, ready? Oh, yep. yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Power, boundless power. Ningal kadai dudu tapi sam nangal. Satani nadi maigal nangal. Oh my God, he's flying. Oh my God. Boss, it's slow motion. It can't happen. It can't happen. I've seen people do awesome things like this on bikes. <laughs> I still don't know if this is a movie about dirt bikes, but I think so. Arjun. It reminds me of Fast and Furious. Yeah, I, I got that. the same. Fast <laughs> Furious, but on bikes. Game Arm Chiromanera Chitambi. Also, not English. Sick, yeah. Sick effects, man. <laughs> Whoa! <wow. laughs> it turned to lightning? This could be something big. So oh, this yeah. is a this cop action movie. Big. Oh, Sony, Sony music. Wow. Yeah. So, what did you think of that one? I know it's just a glimpse, but still, you can see what the movie will. Uh, you can't. That's the thing about glimpses. Sometimes you can't see what the movie is going to be about, but you can see how um, how big they're they're going for. I love bikes. I love riding bikes. It's a passion that I have. I love. You know, I I I jump, but not that high. You know, I love it, and I love the action too. You know, I think I think the action is really good. Not that many effects, because that those are things that you can actually do. You know, like in real life. You know, so I think that's really cool. Okay. I mean, not jumping from one window to the other that you can do. But, you know, but... and turning into lightning from. That's true. How is that even possible, man? Yeah, I think I think they turned into lightning just for. Um this the the character to show up um uh, you know but i don't think that's yeah, maybe that's one of his superpowers now nah, this is actually a cop movie so um i don't think it's gonna be any anywhere near um superpowers or anything like that i think it's just a normal cop action movie yeah because oh, i got amazing. a lot of um fast and the furious vibes but if they instead of using cars they use like motorbikes and that was actually yeah. really cool so it's either has something to do with the heist or he's infiltrated. I'm I'm literally judging by that, just to see how this is gonna go. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong, but it sometimes could be that. when I watch, sometimes when I watch Indian movies, I have no idea what what it is about. But the you know it, it just brings some emo emotions, and I'm like, hey, I need to find out more about it. Um. And that's the thing. So today I'm actually... That's exactly that's exactly what I'm feeling now. You know, all yeah. the movies you showed me just motivated me to, you know, go research and, and find out what's it about, you know. Yeah. So I'm showing you um, 
teasers and glimpses and i'm actually trying to show you the best um the best videos out there i i would have shown you a trailer of volumai but i don't think the trailer is coming anytime soon um so these are the latest videos of these movies um the next one is actually bollywood so we're gonna see the bollywood oh, something one. familiar yeah so Man. this is Surya Vanshi. It was actually released on the 5th of November, so it's out in cinemas now. Um, yeah, ready? Yes, yes, I am. Let's go. Mumbai, Hindustan Kadil. Wait, what? I don't know why the subtitles are in Arabic, but let's change it to English. That's for my grandfather, so he can understand. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Or Hindustan ke is dil ne aaj tak kahi baar se. Iski shuruaat hui thi 1993 serial Bomb Blast se. Phir 2002 Bus Blast, 2006 Train Blast. What are those like real things? Or 2008 Taj. I believe so. Probably. Magar Mumbai par unka sabse bada war ab bhi hona baki tha. I love when they do that kind of thing where they put fictional with real stuff. Yeah, they tell the story. Makes him, makes him so this is Akshay, a huge, passport pe religion huge actor in Bollywood. Criminal record. Oh yeah, another police movie. I love police movies. I can movie. see why he's handsome. I've been shot. And that woman, um, I, I believe her name is Rashmika. She's also very, very big. No, wait, it's Katrina. Katrina is the I'm gonna look for the name so I can get it right. In 1993, the the इंटेलिजेंस ब्यूरो की थियोरी शायद सही है लश्कर का अगला टारगेट मुंबई हो Surya wo log kab aayenge ye main nahi janta par wo aayenge zarur is baar aayenge na to dekh lenge saalon ko that's beautiful shivgar chale ye kaam ek hi kamina kar sakta hai ole Oh yeah, that's the stuff, man. Look, in the car, there's a bomb fit. Just Kohli, you'll die. I'll be made in India. अक्का पब्लिक को मालूम है कौन आने वाला है तेरे को नहीं मालूम दिस इज अनदर ग्रेट एक्टर हेलीकॉप्टर पे क्यों लटकता है आई नीड अ कार लाइक दैट बड़ा है एंट्री कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है चलो अभी फोर ग्रेट एक्टर्स Wow! <laughs> I love the way they like her. They are killing people and having fun at the same time. Abin ka beta, Abbas. Our anti-terrorism squad ka ek honar officer hai. Ye hai Hindustan ke Musliman. Oh, that 
That was so cool. Okay, so that is Bollywood. What did you guys think? That was, that was awesome, awesome. man. <laughs> that was that like so one cool. of the best, you know, like uh, trailers I've seen, man. It's like so exciting. You see like so many things going on. And even if I don't understand the language, you know, I didn't even read the, the subtitles because I wanted to pay attention to the images, you know. Okay. And let, it was perfect. Let me just fix something that I said. I said something wrong. I said her name was Rashmika, but that is completely wrong. So the actress is Katrina Kaif. And um, so that's the name of the actress. She is also very, she's a great dancer, a great singer, great actress. It's also with Akshay Kumar. Ranveer Singh and AJ Devan, which was the, the last one who appeared. These are great actors and they make great movies. And the thing about Bollywood is that it started off as a very serious movie. Uh, in the trailer, out, it was like about terrorist attacks. And then throughout the movie, you saw a few things that were going on. You're like, what? Like the guy coming in the car. I was like, what? What was that? The guy just dodged a a a, 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 a rocket launcher. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I do this every day. It's not a funny <laughs> shit me with a an RPG. <laughs> yeah, I I, I, I think, like, like their mood, like how they cue laughing, you know. So they're <laughs> always having fun while they're shooting or they're like <laughs> setting bombs, and they're just like I oh, know, right? Why more. does it have to be always like? Mm -hmm. uh, Character is always like, I'm really bad. I'm suffering, constantly suffering. <laughs> Your audio I, I think... cut off. I don't know why. It's because I'm, I'm too excited. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, the thing about Bollywood is that sometimes they, they just want to entertain. So they take these liberties of doing things out of the blue. And it's entertaining, but sometimes they forget logic, they forget physics, and they just entertain, which is actually something pretty good. We need that right here, right now, and we need that on our our piece because um, I don't know. I I think people are taking movies too serious, and that sometimes make people angry. And we plenty about it. On dude, just have fun. Just yeah. do what they're doing. It's great. It's amazing. All right, but it doesn't make it doesn't have any logic. Who cares? It's a fictional movie. It's yeah. Not of like we go to see movies, we go to play video games just because they're not real, because we can do stuff that we cannot do in real life. So exactly. just have fun. Just just have fun and you know, ignore physics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ignore physics. Go fight a big white great white shark. And oh, you're talking about Sharknado. Oh, you're talking about Sharknado. Sharknado is a whole other classic. <laughs> oh. Yeah, <laughs> just don't make me react to thalassophobia because I really, I, I really fear of oceans, and I, 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 I don't like that. Are you scared of oceans? <laughs> yes. When you imagine yourself inside that big body of water, you look yeah. down. Look downward and you see nothing but water. It's getting darker because the light's not getting there enough. So you'll be able to see. And you don't know what's hidden in there. Wow. So that's pretty scary, man. I mean You should you should watch Life of Pi. Have you seen that? Yeah, it's really I, think I, I think I did. I think I I think I know. But I don't know if he fights off sharks. No, no, he he <laughs> He actually, he's the one that survives in a boat. Like, yeah, he's right, in a like, boat with a tiger. So it's not a shark. Oh, yeah, but... yeah. He doesn't have to fight off any sharks, right? No, no. Because <laughs> like, if he, do, if he does, then I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> Was that move produced in India? Which one? Life of Pi? Life of Pi. Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> I think it was produced in a blue so. stream studio. <laughs> I don't think it was. I don't, I don't remember. But I don't think it was in Indian. Because it was in English. It was 100% in English, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't you know, believe so. Those Indians, those Indian movies, they remind me somehow of um, old Brazilian movies from Os Trapalhões. Oh, okay. You know, there's some like something <laughs> serious to it, but at the same time, they're just like having fun, you know, because of course that's a comedy. So, yeah. yeah. 
I don't know. I think you guys are too young to remember those movies, you know. <laughs> but yeah, back in the days, you know, like when Brazil were was producing movies, you know. Yeah, they I had don't know. something. Brazil doesn't produce any any of these movies anymore. Like, no. we have some. Yeah, but... yeah. I don't know. What's yeah, going on. Nowadays, it's more. Um, they're very like how James said. It's more serious and serious, and it's like it's too serious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like it's too, or is it, it's either too serious or it's either too sad, and I'm like. I don't too want too serious. Too serious. <laughs> or like nah, you're but... watching a movie and all of a sudden the movie is supposed to be, let's say, like an, an action thriller and then all of a sudden it turns into a horror movie. It's <laughs> like, but I signed up for something else. So it could kind of they just make it too dark sometimes. But... And sometimes like we don't want that. <laughs> but that's the thing. That's the thing about India. You, you, you have the option. So... Um... They also have movies that are pretty serious. Like uh, I watched a movie called Sardar Udam, and it talks about um, the the history of um, there was an event in um, Jalian Wala, I think that's how you say it, Bag, um, where British soldiers shot a crowd of innocent people just wow. because they wanted to give an example. So the whole movie is pretty dark it's a slow burn there's no laughing moments it's just from the beginning until the end it's just uh, a sad reality of things and it if you don't cry by the end of the movie you have no heart <laughs> that's basically oh my god i was actually watching that movie just did so you, you know did you watch it i was watching i was watching it and i'm like oh my god oh my god i was like no they're not gonna do this I didn't even know it had historical content, and then I was like, no, they're not going to do this. They're not going to do this. And when I watched it, I was like, what? And then afterwards, when I watched your videos, and you, like, you posted a lot of things about what happened, and I was like, wait, this was real? And I went into it, and I'm like, why would people do something like this? Why would someone do this? This is horrible. Exactly. It was just, It was just so cruel. I'm like, why what 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 kind of mentality would someone use by literally killing thousands of innocent people to make an example you can make an example another way you don't have to use tragedy and like violence to yeah. do something like that but it was that, just really bad that event alone was the 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 beginning of the downfall of the british empire because, um, you know, whenever you try to suppress a crowd or, you know, like a leader, if you if you kill a leader, you will actually bring four to five new ones. So that's basically what happened. Um, nobody was having it. They're not. Oh, you, you're going to kill our innocent people and we're not going to do anything about it. So that was the beginning of the revolution. And uh, from what I understood, and India has been... Um, fighting for an apology since then and they haven't had okay i'm not going to go into that because i went i i was like one week in kind of almost like depression w after watching that those scenes and that movie and the thing that got awesome. me angry was that after that happened um the british government for more than a hundred years have not even issued an apology not even an apology, not even acknowledging that it was something wrong. So it is crazy to think about that. But let's let's not get political here. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna avoid commenting on this one. You know? Yeah, <laughs> because I'm very political. You know, but so. I I I guarantee if you watch that movie, you will change your your vision and. It is. It is something that is. No, no. I'm really not saying strong. I'm political. I, no, not, I'm not you. I agree. Not I you. agree a hundred percent with you. You know, like <laughs> these people are evil. You know, they they kill for no reason. You know, they kill. Yeah. They love killing people. You know, that's their problem. No, when I said you, I meant um us as as humans. You know, like oh. because we we all think um hey you know. There were a few moments in history that. Even like in Brazil, like we were, um, we were colonized by um, 
the Portuguese, Portuguese right? And we, we say the Portuguese was like this great um, empire or something like that. But what was great about it if they were killing us innocent, you know? But that's the thing. When you watch historical movies like this that India provides for their country, you, you, you start to think, why don't we have that in our in our country, you know, to see what happened? But still, um, it, it, it's a history lesson if you watch the movies that they provide. And I really, really, really like the way they do it. And I, I wish that we had that patriotism in Brazil, you know. I don't know. Do you guys know any videos from Brazil, any movies from Brazil that showcase historical moments? Yeah, I think there is... Um... Uh, how is the name of the movie? Uh, City of God, I think. City of yeah. God and... Uh... Yeah, I don't think that's a historical moment, like... Yeah, not really historical moments here. There, I, I think there's seen. also Karanjiru. Karanjiru, I yeah, think it's a yes. historical movie. Karanjiru as well. But there's Karanjiru is about Brazilian... Surface. Elite yes. Squad, it's, it's fictional, but it's based on real events from a... a... Yeah. So oh, there is there is a there is bit. a movie. There is a movie like if you're talking about like history, like the, like the beginning when the Portuguese came. There is a movie. It's the name of a, a, an Indian girl. I mean, when we call Indian, we're talking about native Brazilians. You know? Yeah, because the, that's how they call Indians over there. The, Aborigines. the native. Yeah, the her name. Like, there is this specific name. And it's a beautiful movie, man. It's actually a beautiful movie that tells the story of when the Portuguese came to Brazil. Okay. And... It's Tainá. Tainá. And it's not I... a historical movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not That's Tainá. That's a fictional adventure <laughs> movie, man. Okay. What have I done? That's like the first one that came into my head. It was like, huh? <laughs> no. But normally they, they only remember. retract, like... Um, but you see how hard like it is for us... In, like, like soap operas here it's mostly that yeah. that's mostly how we see um history here it's mostly through like soap operas yeah that's the thing about brazil we are big on soap operas we're not so big on movies you see how hard it is for us to think of a movie that was historically present yeah. but karanjuru was a very good example because karanjuru actually tells the story of brazilian history where what happened was um, the government actually told um, the the prison takers, is that how you say it, to execute as many as they could because of overpopulation? No, actually they told the police. The police. The police, the police came into the prison and killed people. Yeah, wasn't it wasn't the police. It was a massacre, right? It was yeah. just a massacre. Like, a lot of people said, like, um, it, what, there wasn't even, like, anything anyone could do. They were just, they were, like... Either they were ordered or were just fixed on going in and nobody was going to come out alive. That's technically yeah. what so happened. That's an, an actually, that's a very good um, story. So it talks about a, a massacre. And after you watch that movie, you, you start to rethink a lot of things. Um, and that movie was actually what set um, Rodrigo Santoro's career. So after that, if you guys know who Rodrigo Santoro is, he is like a huge he, Brazilian. He was, yeah, he was Xerxes in the 300. movie 300. Yeah. Yeah, 300. He was in Love he Actually? Also... Yes, and he was also in the movie with Jim Carrey. Oh, yeah. He was, he was in a movie with Jim Carrey, I just don't remember. He was in a recent movie as well. Um... He was also in Lost, if I remember that. Lost, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Did you watch Lost? He was also in Spanglish. <laughs> Yeah. He was in Spanish. Did you get lost? <laughs> um, only after the third season, it was very hard to follow the story. And then when we got to the last season, I was pretty upset with how they, like, developed everything. I was kind of like, why? Why would you end such a beautiful no spoilers. story like that? And, yeah. Okay, we're Come getting... On, lost has been there, I don't know. Like... 15 years ago yeah so you have a, a pass right yeah but we're getting off there. we're getting off track we're talking about brazilian cinema now so the the topic is <laughs> indian cinema uh, i have shown you how everything. far we have have we gone <laughs> i have shown you everything i wanted to show you for today but 
The next few videos, we're going to make it shorter. This one has been one hour going ongoing. So the next few ones, I'm going to make it shorter, show you um, a few videos. And I would like to show you after we finish this video for the next video, um, I'd like to show you the RRR song, which is it was launched today and it's going to be amazing if you guys watch it with me as well. I, I, I have I have seen it four times, five times. So this would be the sixth. Um, and so final thoughts, Becca, have you changed your perspective of Indian cinema? Did you learn something new? Yes, that I'm missing out on a lot of things and that there are a lot of Indian movies on Netflix and Amazon Prime. I have to go hunt them down, yeah. all of them. Amazon Prime and Netflix also. James, Gotta go hunt them down. any final thoughts? What did you learn today? Well, um, I think Indian cinema, it's amazing. It's something else. And maybe all of us uh, like um, when I say all of us, I I mean this this part of the of the planet, like the, the Western uh, world. Yeah, the Western world should learn more about good movies, uh, but not take them too seriously. Just like I said, just have fun with it. I think that's pretty important for for the industry and for the people. Even though even more than uh, nowadays, so. so dark days today and i think we can we need um, we need something to smile about yeah we need something to smile about exactly and i think they they are nailing so thank you india <laughs> <laughs> okay semi any final thoughts what yes i want to also thank india because the movies here in the us is they're like they've been so like political and they have an agenda and I, I've been I've been out watching movies for many like years already, and I'm gonna go back to watching those movies now for media because I love them. I think like everything you showed me is very interesting, and I really wanna you know go ahead and 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 see the whole thing. You know. Yeah, you know, you said something very interesting. the The main reason I started reacting to Indian movies is because I wanted something fresh. Right now, we're getting a lot of remake in Hollywood. We're getting a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong. We do have a lot of good movies in Hollywood. But um, recently, it's a lot of remakes and a lot of, you know, it, it feels like everything was already explored. So I thought, you know what? Let me try something new. Let me go to um, some Indian cinema, Indian content. And then I figured, I, I found out that there were more than five industries. And other than these interesting um, industries they also have bengali movies they have marathi movies they have a lot of different um film industries in india and it is just insane so i thought you know what let me go ahead and watch these movies and enjoy them and i am seriously loving every single one of them and i'm happy to have the opportunity to share it with my friends finally um it was a long time coming so I'm going to say goodbye to you guys and then I'm going to do the outro for this video. And I just want to thank you all for being here. And yeah, so let's all say thank you. goodbye together. So three, thank you, Paul. Thank you so much. Three, two, one. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. bye guys. I hope, you soon. I hope to see you soon. Thank you. See you guys on the next one. Okay, guys. So that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to come back for the next video. If you are new to the channel, check out my community tab. Join us on Discord and yeah, just explore the channel. And let me know what I should share with my friends in the comments down below. What movies should we react to next? And also leave a comment. And I don't want to cause any confusion, but if you guys want to ask one of um, my friends any questions, then yeah, just go ahead and leave a comment and I will show them that. Also, don't forget to follow them on their social media. The script, the all the social media thingies are in the description. Go ahead and follow them and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys. Bye bye.